Today, I'm trying the best convenience store foods in Tokyo, Japan. Which will win? Family Mart, Lawson, 7-Eleven. I don't know, but <laughs> we do have some pretty cool stuff here. Lawson, Lawson is getting started off strong. Yeah, I feel like they have amazing sweets, yes. so I'm oh super gosh. excited to try them. It was a big convenience store too. Maybe I just haven't eaten at one in a while in Japan, but like there was a lot of options I there. know, yeah, and everything was pretty cool. Like the things, you know, I wanted, but I didn't know I was looking for were there. Like, this massive okonomiyaki. This looks so freaking delicious. If you don't know what an okonomiyaki is, it's some kind of big Japanese omelette with potatoes, pork, and glaze with soy sauce, which is absolutely delicious. It not only looks good, but it looks like a freaking painting too. If you serve me that at a restaurant, I'd believe it's from a restaurant, not from a convenience store. Mm -hmm. mm. Is it very good? Mm -hmm. Mmm, it is pretty good. So what's your rating for this first food? I'm gonna go with a solid 8 for this. Yeah, this is an 8 out of 10. This mm -hmm. is really good, but you know, I don't want to be starting too strong because we have no. a lot of food to review today. 10 is going to be reserved for the top of the top. Foods. The best of the best. Next we have food number 2 of the cheeseburger. And here we picked it because, you know, we want Bobby to feel at home. We yeah. wanted to remind him of his culture. <laughs> Nothing like eating a packaged burger. An authentic cheeseburger. <laughs> Honestly, the photo on the front makes it look so good. Having a packaged burger, I wasn't necessarily expecting a lot, obviously. You know, it's like a, a hockey puck of a patty, cheese sauce that's like from a can, and then a little bit of ketchup. But honestly, this is a taste that's really shockingly addictive. Like, I want to take another bite right now. Well, go for it. Okay. <laughs> Does it remind you of home? No. It tastes like a burger from Lawson in Japan. I have to say that I was not the most excited about this food. <laughs> What's not exciting about a packaged burger? <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll try it. A bit reluctantly, but I'll try it. What do you mm. think? Do you taste what I... You know, can yeah, there's like something addictive in there. Um, yeah, right? It tastes like a junk food burger. Like it tastes like, yeah. like a McDonald's. So you see in every convenience store, they have a hot food section. And each convenience store we're gonna hit up today has different things. And the one that seemed like super cool here was like this potato croquette that's supposedly from the region of Hokkaido. Like that's oh, really? like, yeah, they were like selling it as like a typical Japanese potato croquette. So, <laughs> you know, I'm like, I, I bought it. <laughs> it's supposed to be potato and beef. Enjoy. Mm. Mm. Oh, this one is good. So it's very unique, mm. not what I expected. So it's a mix of beef, potato, and strangely sweet as well. I, I like this one. I think this is like obviously my second favorite food after the okonomiyaki. Yeah, 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 absolutely. This is about a seven out of 10. Yeah, 7. 7.5 for me. Next up, the beautiful, the wonderful, Pakari sweat. It tastes a little bit like the Gatorade of Japan. This is a very, very iconic Japanese drink. I don't think I've ever tried it though. Oh, it doesn't taste at all how it looks. I was expecting something like more of a electrolyte uh -huh. type of drink and it is indeed pretty fruity. It's a solid six out of 10. Yeah, I like it. So the thing I'm really excited for in this breakfast is the sweets. Yes. Lawson has like some seriously good sweets. And the first one we're gonna try is a doriyaki, which is like some kind of like pancake that's filled with red beans and cream. It looks absolutely delicious. Yes, cream, red bean, I love that. Pancakes, all of good things, so mm -hmm. let's try it. Okay. Mm -hmm. What? The cream is so good, super rich, super airy. The red bean is so delicious as well. Whoa, that's this surprising. So yes. That is super delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like not too sweet, yet it has that perfect sweetness. And the cream is just unbelievably good. I know, the cream is my favorite thing in there. Yes. And yeah, this is for me, this is a 10 out of 10. ten me too, 10, 10 out, out, ten. out of 10. Easy. So good. Easy. Our next sweet is also an iconic Japanese sweet. It's a pastry that's shaped like a fish and that's like made of rice paste. And in it, you have some kind of egg cream. I know I will love it. The egg cream is so delicious. So let's try it out. Cheers. Mmm. Yum. Okay. Yum. Lawson, Lawson has the best pastries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, the best pastries. It tastes so fresh, mm -hmm. not too sweet, and just overall incredibly delicious. This is another 10 for me. Yeah, 10 out of far. 10, best pastries. Okay, so what do we think about Lawson? What's like our, our take here? I'd say sweets, sweets. gonna be hard to beat. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. really gonna be hard to beat. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna find better sweets than that. This is so good. Overall food, I would say it was good, but maybe the burger, it wasn't delicious, it was just addictive. <laughs> We, we had to get the burger. Yeah, but it was At good. At least for Bobby, you know. <laughs> this was an unbelievable 
unbelievable way to start off the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think like in terms of food, I think maybe like Family Mart or 7-Eleven is gonna top that. In terms of pastries, I don't know, but... Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, let's see. You're forcing me to eat a corn dog I once again. I am so excited to eat this corn dog. When I saw it, it just looked absolutely massive. And I was like, okay, we are definitely getting this. Like, look at how big it is. I have not eaten a corn dog since like the last Japanese video we did. I know. Where I ate this for the first time ever. It's an American tradition. I have forgotten the taste, so this will be kind of a new thing for me. Oh my God, there's a sausage in it. Yeah, of course there's a sausage. You didn't know there was gonna be a sausage? I forgot about it. Oh. Mm. This is not my favorite food. I'm happy to have mm. tried it, but I'll let you enjoy it. It's the perfect combination between that corn on the outside and then the sausage on the inside. Well, it's all yours. <laughs> I will enjoy it. So for me, this is mm. maybe a six out of 10. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, I'm not in the mood for that today. I think like what we have after is like way better. Try a sushi. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Japanese convenience store sushi is so good. I will never buy it raw fish from a convenience <laughs> store but here in japan i yeah. like retrust it and i retrust that it's gonna be delicious yeah imagine like going to a gas station in the u.s or europe and buying sushi there oh no you die you die <laughs> i mean like i think it's you know you can probably find better things there yeah, right? yeah, yeah 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 but here it's like actually fresh which is just crazy well and one thing i'm excited to try is our next food because mm. at family Mart they have like really cool bento boxes like yeah. even cooler than in the other ones look at this it's so big it's like the maxi one but yeah i'm excited for this one this looks amazing Me this too. is like maybe the most good looking food we've seen I'd, today i'd say so too look there's like even different like yeah. little boxes and it mm -hmm. looks so beautiful yeah it's incredible <laughs> good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Oh, I can't wait. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. This is so delicious. Mm -hmm. I really love it. It's a really good combination with the sauce and the mustard as well. I think this is a meal I eat every single day. This is so good. This could be like one of mm. my everyday staples. There's mm. like the little side of veggies, the mm -hmm. little omelette, the rice. This is 100% a 10 for me. I would even say that this is our first 11. Your first 11? <laughs> first 11 of the day. Maybe many more. Maybe many more. And next. We're finally, 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 finally at the sweets. Now, loss in the sweets really blew me away. So I'm really excited to see how the milk donut is. Yeah, but wait, just before that, I want to oh, cleanse yeah. my palate with some rooibos tea. They had so many teas here. Family Mart is really the good place if you like tea. Super refreshing, delicious. I love that you can just buy random teas at a convenience store and it's so good. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. And oh. it's like super moist, you know, it's as if it had been soaked in something. Okay, the last one is a mystery sweet. We have no idea what it says. We got it anyways. And <laughs> let's discover that. Oh, interesting. Oh, I was not expecting that. It's a very heavy bun. I think there's maybe like chocolate in it. It's like very jiggly. Look. <laughs> very jiggly. Look, it's like so jiggly. It is a bit jiggly. There's like chocolate mousse. Wow, it's in like it. a mousse. <gasps> Oh, my oh wow, God. it's a chocolate mousse bun. Wow. Oh my gosh, it is yeah. very chickly. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, what? It's still your mousse. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. That's a good mystery cake. They were pretty good, but it's like just uncomparable with Lawson. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Lawson really like got us with their sweets. Yeah, Lawson was like so good for the desserts, and like yeah. this place is where the bento boxes oh, are ash. My my favorite thing yet. My personal favorite is 7-Eleven. I think they do everything well, so I'm I'm excited for tonight. We're both 7-Eleven fans. Right? Oh, huge. Let's say that 7-Eleven is where we go when we're not filming. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, we go there like probably once. A day, at least every once time a day. we're in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Here, like, we just took our favorite foods that we eat every single day when mm -hmm, we're in Japan. Mm -hmm. And I've never tried your favorite sandwich. Oh my gosh. And you're gonna try my favorite bowl. So yeah. we're like exchanging foods. Okay, I say we start with the fried chicken. Yes. So I didn't know that 7 Eleven had Japanese fried chicken. Wow. Oh my god. First of all, this doesn't look like chicken. It's perfectly square, yeah. but it looks so good. Wow. Look at this. This is like so perfect golden and juicy and warm i love that they have hot foods like yeah. it is so cool to be able to get a hot meal at a convenience store you know we've been eating a ton of them <laughs> okay i'll i'll eat i'll eat okay. I, I stop speaking <laughs> oh my god 
Wow. Mmm. So crunchy. It tastes almost like cheesy because mm -hmm. like the butter is so delicious. It's very, very juicy. <laughs> wow, it's like oozing with fat, like mm -hmm. so juicy. So what's your rating for this one? 10, 100%. Yes. <laughs> 10, like no question. Okay, so this one is my own personal favorite. So this is what I eat every single day when I'm in Japan. I've eaten that at least once a day, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes two. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is the famous rice bowl with beef and egg. I love the descriptions, they're like very literal. I love this one because first of all, the presentation is so cool. So mm -hmm. you have like a first compartment with the toppings on top. And here you have a bunch of different veggies, some meat, and of course a massive poached egg. And then on the bottom you have the rice. So you have to do the mixing yourself and it's so cool because everything is super fresh. Mmm, as no. always, this is good. How do you like it, Bobby? It tastes like it could be served in a restaurant in like a clay pot, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Sandwich time. Mm -hmm. Love Open. how it opens like that too. You have a little plate there then, you know? I don't know how they make these sandwiches, but they feel fresh and then just look at the cutlet. There's nothing better at 7-Eleven than this sandwich. I have never had this sandwich. Really? And it's one of your favorites mm -hmm. because I always have the rice bowl. I, I love eating the same thing every single day if it's good, so. Mm. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> what do you what do you rate it? Well, it is really good. You can taste like the chicken and there's like some kind of mayo too. Yeah. And I really love that. I prefer my rice bowl. Sorry. What? Mm -hmm. What do you rate it? This is delicious. It's a nine out of ten. A nine out of ten. Yeah, this is. I'm a giving very it a thirty out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> so our next food is a big rice bowl surrounded with some seaweed. Cheers. Cheers to you. Mmm, mayo. What is this one? It's mayo. <laughs> I love mayo so much. It's so good. And then we have... What is that? A... Square sushi. Square... <laughs> yeah, it's like a massive nigiri. Yeah, bite into it. Bobby's trying to fit this thing all into his mouth. I'm like not, not even left with half of the rice bowl. Apologies, friend. Mm. I love the rice balls. Like sometimes I just go to 7 Elevens and I, and I just yeah. buy rice balls. Like they're like a perfect snack. I think the rice has like a special quality in, in Japan because I really <clears throat> love all types of Japanese rice. But I've tried 7 Elevens a bit around the world and the rice in Japan is like way better. <laughs> I have strong opinions like that. Yes. <laughs> and wait, we haven't tried our tea. Oh, yeah. 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 Ah. I feel like a, like a commercial or something. <laughs> This is like just iced tea that's in Sweden and from yeah. made from green tea. That I have nothing more to say about that. It's like, <laughs> it's refreshing, it's tea, it's good. Give me the pancakes. <laughs> I want those pancakes now. <gasps> wow. Oh my God. So we have pancakes with maple syrup and salted butter. This is such a good idea. Like mm -hmm. why hasn't any like diner or cafe done this before? Yeah, this one's a 10. 7-Eleven. You could eat every single day for at least like six months at 7-Eleven and not get bored. Yes. I'd say even like forever mm -hmm. because there's so many products that you could just like switch between mm -hmm. that are super innovative, so different than any other product you can find anywhere else, including Family Mart and Lawson. I think we will end this video by <clears throat> going and getting more pancakes. Yes, and more sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe, but at least more pancakes. <laughs> I'm getting more sandwiches. <laughs>